Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the Excel Automation Scenario series. In this series, we are looking at the real world problems that we might face during Excel Automation with UiPath Studio. Prior to this video, we have the these many videos available on the playlist. We have something called Refresh Pivots, Invoke VBA, Dynamic Cell, Split CSV, Invoke Code, Invoke VBA, Delete Sheet using how do we use the Invoke Code activity and all those stuffs. Apart from this playlist, I have one more playlist that is dedicated to the activities which we have in Excel for UiPath Studio. So the activities include read range, write range, copy paste range and all of these activities are available. I would recommend you to go through the videos and have a look. Having said that, let's see the agenda for this video. In this video, we are going to see how do we hide the columns in Excel. Post that, we are going to see how do we unhide the columns in Excel. We are going to see how we can hide and unhide multiple columns at once in Excel with the help of UiPath Studio. And all of this we are going to see by step by step demonstration. To start the automation, I am in my UiPath Studio. I have created a project which I call Excel Automation. Let me start by taking a sequence. And today we are going to see how do we hide and unhide. So I call this sequence hide and hide columns in Excel. Okay, so now my XAML is ready. Okay, now let us go to the project folder. I have something called a folder Excel in which I have placed a sample Excel. Let me go ahead and show you the Excel file. This is the Excel. Okay, let me close this guy. And in the project location, this is the sample Excel file which I have kept. Okay, so if you'll see, I have this uh, sheet called sheet one. Let me just hide the extra sheet. I will hide this and I will hide this also. So, okay, so I have a sheet one and which is having columns from A to R, right? So as you can see, there is columns L and then M is already hide. So let me just go ahead and unhide it. Okay, so I have data from column A to column R. So now what the objective is, objective here is we want to hide the column. So let us first by trying what we want to do. So assuming that I want to hide this many columns. Okay, so I want to hide column C, D, E, F, G, H and I. So how do I do that in Excel? In Excel we just go here and we click on hide and the columns are hidden. Now we want the same thing to be happen with the help of UiPath Studio. That is what we are going to see first. Right, so I'll just hit a control plus Z and I want to hide the column C to I. How do I do that? Okay, I'll save everything. Okay, C to I, close it. Let's go back to the Excel. Okay, and now to hide and unhide columns. Today we are going to use the invoke code activity. So we don't require the Excel application scope here. In the previous video of this series, we were using the Excel application scope, but here it is not required. Okay, so the first thing I take an invoke code activity. I will drag and drop it here. Now to hide and unhide a sheet, what are the arguments you think we require? Okay, so first thing is we would definitely require a file name the file name would be a string variable i will hit control plus k and create a variable called file name this would hold the excel file path then the next thing would be a which sheet right so i will call it sheet name that would be the sheet name for us and the next is we can directly pass the range also and uh, the range which is range we want to hide and unhide and maybe a boolean flag that what do you want to do hide or unhide that we see in the later part of the automation let me go back to the project i will go to this and i will open the file location i will hit shift right click let me just get the path for the excel i go back to the uipath studio paste the path the sheet name is sheet one okay now invoke code now if I go here in the edit code section, I have an option to write the code. So I have explained this detail about invoke code VBA in the previous videos of this series. I will put the link in the description and you can refer that out. So I will start by writing the code. So the first thing is since we are dealing with an Excel. So the first thing is we have to create a variable for the Excel app. So I will create a variable for Excel app and we will type Microsoft dot office dot 
interop dot excel dot application okay so this is the first thing because we are dealing with excel so that's why we have to do this the next thing is we have to uh, create an object for the workbook so i will type here wb and this would be microsoft dot interop dot excel dot workbook okay workbook and next for the sheets we have to create a variable so we have to uh, create a variable so i will create ws for worksheet and this will be excel dot worksheet okay so now our three variables are there excel app workbook and worksheet now what is the next thing we want to open the excel right so what we will do we will type here excel app now this variable will be available i hit control plus space and this variable is now available to use right and we will initialize this so i will type here new microsoft dot this dot i type here new microsoft dot office dot interop dot excel dot application next we have to open the excel right so for opening the excel we will use the workbook object and we will type excel app dot workbooks dot open and now it will ask me which file you want to open right so as of now let us just keep it like this file name assuming that this file name we will get from the input arguments right so this is where we open the excel okay so it's always good to have comments in your code next we have to operate on the sheet one so to operate on the sheet one we have to activate the sheet and before activating the sheet name what we have to do we have to select the sheet so to select the sheet we will use the ws object which we have created and we will write here ws is equal to convert dot to type okay what we want to do we want to convert the wb dot sheets and which sheet right so let us put it here like this sheet name and i will type it here comma microsoft so i am just type casting it microsoft dot office dot interrupt dot excel dot worksheet okay this is done type a message here we are selecting a sheet next what we want to do we want to activate the sheet now this ws object is initialized with the sheet which is the sheet name and the file name we are going to pass this as argument here now what we do we type here ws dot activate next we will write a code to hide and unhide here so i will type just a giver write hide and unhide columns here columns here okay and once everything is done i just want uh, to so whenever we do some of the operations sometime excel throws some of the pop up that do you really want to continue do you delete do you want to permanently delete that sheet right so those things are called display alerts and when we are running the code from the yopat studio we do not want that pop ups right so what we type display alerts equal to false and we want everything to happen in the background so we type visible equal to false right because everything will happen everything will happen in the background so we don't need to see that in happening right we will just directly validate the results and once everything is done we will just save the workbook by typing wb dot save and close the workbook by wb dot close okay hit okay and this completes our code so we are still right to uh, get the code for the hide and hide but before that let us pass this arguments i'll select okay and the code is available i have to go to the arguments and we will create two arguments the first one is the file name and the next one is the sheet name okay so just go by the naming convention i'll type it as in so that will make a good coding standard okay and in the file name we have already taken the input in the file name and the sheet name is in sheet name okay save everything i go to edit code and now which file we want to open so if i just type here in so as you can see this at the rate indicates that this is an argument so i'll select this file name and in the sheet name we will type 
in sheet name now what we want to do so we want to hide the columns right so as of now we have seen that the columns were in it unhidden right so how can we uh, hide the columns to hide the columns we so whenever you see c to m is nothing but a range and the range is associated with a worksheet so we will type ws dot range now if we'll just do it like this like this so you will see it asked me for the object and it is asking me a range right so I can put a range here from C to I okay and I what I want to do for C to I columns okay what we want to do we want to hide the entire column so we will write entire column dot hidden is equal to true that is it right so this statement will hide the columns from C to I isn't it really awesome that just by writing a single line of code we are able to hide the columns okay let's see this in working I'll go here and hit OK hit save if I go here I am getting excel dot interrupt dot error I'll quickly fix this I go here and I will just import the arguments so that is soft dot office dot interrupt dot excel okay save ports and I am still having that exception for interrupt dot excel let me go to the project I have already added a reference for Microsoft dot office dot interrupt dot excel let us go to the arguments okay sorry here we have Microsoft dot office dot interrupt dot excel I have already added that thing in the input still we are getting the error let me save everything let us open this thing in the file location I will edit this thing in notepad if you have seen my previous video this thing is explained in detail in the previous video I will just put the link in the description and you can refer that how do we deal with uh, this assembly reference exception so as of now you can follow or if you want a detail so basically what we have to do we have to just uh, pass the this microsoft.office.interrupt.excel in the assembly references by just copying the tag above okay so a detailed video is available on the channel I will put the link in the description and you can refer that okay so I'll close this I'll go back here save everything microsoft.office.interrupt.excel is available close this XAML go here open it again and the error is gone okay so let us go back to the folder I'll open the Excel file and verify if the rows are still unhidden so okay so a b c d e f g h i are all available here and if I go back to my UiPath studio in the code we are trying to hide the column from C to I so now if I run the process what should happen it will hide from here to here okay so I'll leave this as it is close it and let me go here and run the file port is executing let us wait for the program to get executed okay I go to the output and I do not see an exception let us go back to the folder refresh everything I'll just open this file and column C to I are hidden okay so this is how we use the hide functionality of using the invoke code okay so now you can change this range and one more thing this range again we can parameterize with the help of the arguments I can make one more argument a string argument and we can pass this range here like the way we are passing the file name and the sheet name okay so now the next question arises this was all about range okay I'll let me just go ahead and unhide everything now let us say I want to hide only the C and then I want to hide the column K how do we do that right so if I want to just hide a single range so how do we do that so that is very easy you can go back to the edit code okay let me just copy this statement and I'll paste it here so this now if I want to hide a single column I have to just do it like this and let's say we want to hide the column J as well right so I will type here J and one more J here okay now what will happen is this will hide the both the columns that is C and the J okay let me save this XAML okay I go back here C is available J is available 
let's close the excel i want to save the changes okay and run the file so now the expectation is instead of hiding the complete range now the bot will hide only two columns that is c and column j let us wait for the execution okay let me go back to the excel file and column c is hidden c b d c is hidden and the column j is hidden as well okay so this is how we use the hide now the question arises how can i unhide the columns right so similarly you would have guessed it right you can easily go ahead and type it here like this so in case the hidden is equal to true if i type here hidden equal to false and let us keep this guy hidden I will just comment it so this is how you comment so now what should happen if I now unhide the column C it will just unhide the one column that is the column C let me save everything so C is hidden and J is hidden and we are unhiding only one column okay let us close this I go back here and run the file okay let us go back to the excel sheet and verify now we have instructed the code to unhide the column C so column C is unhidden and column J is still in hidden condition okay so now what if I have multiple columns hidden right so I go here and hide this guy this is also hidden and this is also hidden okay so now assuming that I want to unhide all the columns which are hidden so if you will see A B C is hidden J is hidden and O is hidden but now let's say I want to unhide all the columns at once so is there a way how we can unhide all the columns at once yes there is so I can always go back to the code and if you will see the code to always hide and unhide is this guy only hidden equal to true and hidden equal to false now if I want to hide all the unhide all the columns so what do I write ws okay that is the worksheet and this worksheet now is pointing to the sheet one and I type here columns okay dot entire column dot hidden equal to false as simple as that okay let me comment this out and now what should happen is so we have seen we have three columns hidden and we are instructing this code to unhide each and every column which is hidden right so let us try to execute this guy I'll save this and I will try to run the file let us wait for the bot to complete its execution okay the execution is completed let me go back to the excel open the excel and now we should get all the rows in the unhidden state so okay a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o all the columns are unhidden so this is how we use the hide and the unhide functionality with the help of invoke code this completes the demonstration for both hiding and unhiding the columns in your patch studio that is all for this video let's have a quick recap in this video we have seen how we can hide columns in excel we have seen how does unhide columns work with your path studio post that we have seen how we can hide and unhide multiple columns in your path studio and all of this was demonstrated by a step-by-step -step demo we have used the invoke code activity here so I will wrap up this video here Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation.